Hello, hello. To my temporary place. Um, I tried to record a video last night really late, but I messed it up. So, um, technically speaking, and it is not shareable. So, you'll just have to trust me that it was a very positive message. And if you feel like you're hesitating before the finish line, um, there was a lot of positive messages about um, trying to be a little bit more flexible because the universe is trying to bring in something really wonderful for you. Your, this is regarding your Ten of Pentacles, your legacy, something that is really close tied, closely tied to your identity. Um, but when we don't, when it doesn't go the way we expect it, we sort of blow it up and say, this must not be for me because it didn't happen exactly as I had planned it. So the message yesterday was that you are good enough and to not be disheartened all in due time. <sighs> yes, so... I am traveling, but I still have my little gems. A lot of them. <clears throat> hanging out I should have known that yesterday's video wouldn't work out because I also there were like a ton of interruptions while I was recording it I had to stop a couple times and then even though I did get all the way through it there was no sound how about that See now the sound is working, so that's good. <clears throat> so here we go. Waning moon, what do you need to release? Your commitment is being tested. A win-win outcome is forecast. Oh boy, I really do feel like this is this is the energy of um, right. So if this if this is going off of last yesterday's read and I do believe that a lot of these do follow in sequence because I'm sort of just doing one thing I'm not doing lots of different things with these videos I'm sort of just um, and yesterday fear showed up it's like you've got the finish line and then fear shows up because it didn't it didn't happen the way you want it to so this is about following something through um, in a way that feels like you're going backwards this is about going back sorry it's it's warm here Because it's what do you need to release? Your commitment is being tested. If you're really wanting to move forward, then why are you going backwards? And win-win outcomes forecast is the full moon in Libra. So this is about relationships and how we relate to people. Hmm. Do you hear all the birds and see the flies? There's a lot of life down here, not like in Chicago. One more, one more. Shuffle it up. What can you tell us about this commitment? Your commitment is being tested. This is about a relationship. A committed relationship? It's almost like if you if you are in a relationship, there's there might have been like some kind of 
fight or this feels like a what do you need to release is almost like a grudge are you holding on to a grudge or something that's holding you back it's holding back your relationship the king of cups so maybe someone's not sharing their feelings hmm Shuffling of this does not feel right today. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> if there's something weird in a, in a relationship you're having right now, it feels awkward. It feels weird. Because that's how the, these cards feel right now. Oh no, what do you need to release? ghost on the bottom <sighs> release the past man release release that old stuff it's no longer serving you hmm. death the world four of wands that's the soulmate card ten of pentacles showing up exactly in the position it did last night full moon in the middle empress six of cups there's the past Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, oh no. With the full moon in the middle, I feel like this is a timing card. When is the next full moon? I'll look it up. It is currently December 29th, and the next full moon, I believe, is in mid mid January. <clears throat> January 17th in Cancer slash Leo. It's a cusp moon. January 17th. We have like the two happy home cards back to back. You know, these are, I take these as sort of like, this is again, Four of Wands is commitment. Sometimes it's seen as marriage, but this is, <laughs> throw closed up there. <laughs> Maybe this is for somebody who wants to get married, who's looking at somebody like getting married, that's their legacy. Because <clears throat> my throat closed up when I tried to say that. In any case, this is something that someone's working towards, and then before you get to this like really happy, nice energy, um, there's something that needs to be released. Again, and this is the full moon card. This is about processing some, right now there might be some trials to get through to this, um, trials of these ghosts to get to the other side of this full moon, again, mid-January. Um, because what's happening now is massive transformation and the end of some cycles. The world is about closure. This is the last card. It's the last one. And once you pass the world, once you transform yourself and move beyond this world energy, there's there's nothing there's nothing left behind you. You put this shit to bed. Put it to bed. Yeah, so the, the commit that, that's being tested is how badly do you want this really... How badly do you want to be happy? I feel like cause this is harmony. This is really, really nice, nostalgic, sort of lovely feeling. I see the Empress here again. There's nothing but love on the other side of this. Wow. And, you know, the reason I went like, oh, 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 like, uh, <laughs> the reason I was like, oh, no, is because I saw this at the end. The Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords.
This screams Venus retrograde to me, and I think that's what this Empress is implying. Your commitment is being tested. You're you're willing and ready to move on, and you're going to let this go, and then Venus retrograde brings in someone from your past who feels like they want the they need the last word or something. They want to be the ones to leave you. This is some Venus retrograde. B S. Or this could just insinuate that somebody you're dealing with, going back to like maybe the, the grudge storyline, is we need to release the i you know to have harmony we need to remember what it feels like to lose and like maybe you're right in a situation like you're you're the one who's correct but i think driving it home isn't gonna help like don't well be the bigger person by not um rubbing salt in the wound or something like that And this card means deception. So someone's not really being totally honest, but maybe that's what this is, is maybe, maybe we need, to, I don't know why spirit would ever say to come across, you know, to like, to like lower your light or something. I need clarification because this makes no sense to me, this, this ending, everything else feels so amazing. First of all, let's check out the ghost. Three of wands, bags are packed, you're ready to go. Sorry. Three of wands, your bags are packed, you're ready to go. This is about uh, a journey, expansion. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is definitely lingering from yesterday. Something you maybe once believed in is now proving to be a real challenge. Because um, you can't seem to wrap your... It's almost like you're sensing a, a missed opportunity for growth because you yourself are feeling challenged. You're the one coming up with this ghost story. <clears throat> and the Ten of Cups wanted to come through. You're telling yourself this ghost story, and really what's available to you is this Ten of Cups. So I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Or someone's doing. They're not, they're not tapped into sort of the abundant <clears throat> love that's all around us. Someone's feeling really pessimistic about something because their life has been difficult. Everyone's life has been difficult. people who hide it and then there's people who will simply choose to look beyond it but if you ask anybody even the, unless you're like a toxic positive kind of person which we've talked about before they will tell you they tell you what they've been through there's major transformation on the table at, everywhere I look people are changing at the blink of an eye or you know not the blink of the eye but like this has been a deeply transformative year for a lot of people. That's why this could be anybody's reading, really. <sighs> show me, show me death. Hmm. The seven of wands, the seed, the six of pentacles. someone this transformation has occurred out of um, a need to you know someone hitting the lowest point and needing to stand up for themselves because they realize no one is coming this is about finding some sort of balance or um, there's some sort of gift here maybe you received some help or maybe the situation that's in front of you right now is this thing that is the gift to show you how low you've really come. 
and now it's time to change. Change something. In either case, I see some resistance to it, but um, I think it will balance itself out. That's that's why this is proving to be so difficult. Is because this person, if you're holding on to some ghost story, it's because you're resisting change. Yeah, the world. Show me the world. Oh, two wanted to come out right away. Quarter moon and spring. Mm -hmm. Spring, it's it's new life. It's a it's a fresh beginning. And that's what wants to come in, but uh, there's um there's a lack of gratitude for that. There's like, you know, what do you need to, the question at the top of this read is what do you need to release? You have to release it with love and gratitude. It doesn't have to be it. Someone just needs to find that. I already the previous couple videos were like gratitude is the medicine, so go back and watch those. I'm not going to beat that one. Um, let's get into the good stuff. What is this Four of Wands? The Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Wands. Ooh. Ooh. Someone has been doing the work. If you've been doing the work, guided by your own <coughs> desire to, you know, learn more about your, yourself, this situation, taking the time, letting things sort of play out, I think that the time is uh, the time is now that you will be I think rewarded for this effort because the Knight of Wands is something coming in very quickly. It's fire, it's passion. Okay. Let's see the 10 of Pentacles which shows up in the same exact position as it did last night. The tower which the tower also clarified the pentacles last night, the ten of pentacles last night. This is a little confusing because the tower, the sun, and the page of pentacles. It's almost like, <sighs> why is it that things seem to be falling apart and then there's like this literally, this seems like opposite. You know, this sudden upheaval of some sort of sudden change about your destiny, I feel like. This is like a sudden change in what you think is you're you're meant to do on this planet suddenly just sudden change um and even though that's the case it feels extremely positive so you might be like whoa like your world got flipped upside down and now now you're trying to figure out why it feels so good <laughs> that's interesting let's see the full moon full moon Um, well, this could be any kind of ch major change in your life that like feels really good suddenly and it you're it's making you move toward your 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 ten of pentacles your legacy your destiny the the thing that you want to do with your life right this like and that's why it feels so good it's like somebody finally pulled the switch on Someone had spent enough time on their own doing some kind of work, passing the time, and now suddenly what comes and wants to come in very quickly is this tower moment of like, <sighs> that's it, I'm destroying this thing. I'm destroying this, this, this ghost, this past, this thing. So look what clarifies the full moon. We have 
um, temperance, the new moon, and the crescent moon. So now that there's been this sudden upheaval, there is again a stepping back of energy into something a little bit slower. Now it's about experimentation, uh, patience, being open, setting intentions, and building confidence. Because what comes next is, so the new moon is happening um, on Sunday? Set this weekend, it's this weekend. Every moon cycle you set intentions on the new moon and they culminate on the full moon. So the next two weeks can be really important message here about releasing those grudges, releasing the ghost stories. There's, there's a question here of what are you really committed to because I feel like the thing you're committed to is changing somehow and if not then you're changing somehow. Um, there's something really wonderful on the table but you're, you're being asked to sort of um, to listen and understand some sort of context here. There's, there's a need to understand some sort of context, like where what your place is in the grander scheme of things. Hmm. Yes, um, instead of looking at the details, looking at the bigger picture. Um, let's look at the Empress. There's the Two of Cups. Two of Wands. Queen of Swords. Oh my goodness, there's so many choices. Yeah, so the reason that something is moving so slowly is because there is a period of release um, that needs to occur. Someone is trying to make some smart moves in order to move in the direction toward this Two of Cups, some kind of partnership that they idealize. Does that make sense? That's what's growing here. That's. This is Venus retrograde. Oh my God, this is the energy of Venus retrograde though. Don't make any brash decisions. Really think about it. Think about what you're doing. Make some kind of a plan and then show up correct. Don't just jump right in. Oh no. Eight of cups underneath. This is about moving on from painful situation going in I see the crescent moon again <clears throat> crescent moon in the water especially it's about needing to, to take a step back and like fortify yourself once more this is what happens in periods of immense transformation is we need to take frequent breaks harmony wants to come in Let's see the Six of Cups, please. Some, somebody from the past. Page of Cups, Page of Swords, Ace of Swords. Yeah, somebody from the past. Might be younger. Because either younger or less mature than you, either way. But there could be older people less mature than us. <clears throat> and the ace of swords just saying yes someone from the past I've heard this story a lot a lot of people are telling me that people are showing up in their lives I mean <laughs> um, and if they don't know I tell them like Venus retrograde I mean that's not only why I think a lot of people are done being in the shadows like being in their own shadow some some level of truth needs to come out if only so that they can claim it for themselves 
and maybe this isn't meant to be a committed thing although commitment is on the table um, commitment doesn't need to be marriage that's why I didn't want to come out commitment can can look like so many different things it's um, I think we'll get in we'll get into that here um, with these last two cards which is what I've the moment I've really been waiting for but the energy of the six of cups is almost like extremely fast and at the same time very <clears throat> dreamy I was gonna say romantic but I don't know if it's romantic because this could be any kind of partnership really a situation it could still very well be about family but it's almost like someone wants to say you know come in and say oh but look at all the good times we've had um, and it's just so quick to be there in that mind state instead of seeing how all the ways that things have changed and things have changed so much in the last two years that is the deception like when you reconnect with somebody um and they don't exactly acknowledge all of the things that are happening like literally right now not literally right now but like there seems to be gaps there's gaps Mm, time traveling. Lots of time traveling. Um, I'm reading this great series of essays right now called Trauma Magic, and it, it talks about trauma. Those who carry trauma have an ability to time travel. It's like we do go back to the moments and um, are suddenly transported in times when we feel the pain, we feel, <clears throat> you know, whatever those tri whatever those triggers are, right? Humans, non-human situations, places, symbols. So, I'm not saying that's immature, but that's what this could be, because this is about, pages are something about very young, something you know they're still st students what am I trying to say and this is about our youth and and um, and the past children so now you know we've, we've gone most of this reading without um, any swords until the very end and again the the two of the sorry the six of cups was clarified by some more swords so I feel like we're actually gonna get to the truth of this matter here at the end <coughs> of swords please the wise old tree shooting star the hierophant oh man give me one more This is what this is about. I was talking about the time traveling thing. It's almost like, look, we need to release this ghost story, this thing of the past, because it may feel good almost to like go back and, and realize that something is still here, something is still working the way that we think that it does. But if the way that we think about it is sort of like flawed or toxic or um, not really serving us anymore. You see how the shooting star is in, is in between two symbols of um, tradition. I mean, the Hierophant is sort of like, is, is tradition. It's a very, po usually a positive sign, like who comes and blesses this reading. But like, the wise old tree is like, sure, knowledge is good, but like, how, 
how does our previous experience or some of something make us rigid to changing? How are we unable to to change and move forward? Four of Pentacles. When we hold on to something, that's this is what needs to. This is what needs to get released to make room for something else. You're wishing and manifesting from a place that is too difficult, too dense to navigate. That's why it's a five of swords. If you go this route, you might get what you want, like you might actually, but I feel like it'll cause a lot of unnecessary pain. So why would you do that? It's because somebody doesn't see an alternate way route. Somebody doesn't see that there's another way. And this is exactly what last night's read was about. I wish I could share it with you, but there's no sound. So finally, let's look at the Seven of Wands. I mean, I said Seven of Wands, but I meant Seven of Swords. Yeah, someone, remember, I said someone does another way forward? There's confusion. Nine of Cups. Oh. Did I say the cards? Because sometimes I can't. It's hard for me to know when I'm thinking things or when I'm actually saying them. Everyone's starting to wake up now. You can hear it. <laughs> Seven of Cups, Nine of Cups, Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. There is confusion, but there's, I think that there's like a lot of positive, um, I do see someone like, this is about wishing to move beyond this trial, this, whatever the commitment is being tested here. Is it, this is wish fulfillment and then there's the eight of wands coming in something happening very quickly messages downloads someone is asking spirit for some guidance here i think that's extremely good i think that's a good response to this seven of swords which is like i don't want to someone is deciding not to take the back door even though they see it as an option and that's confusing. That's confusing as hell. <sighs> so while you're releasing this ghost stories, I feel like the, the message here is the queen of pentacles. This is about creature comforts. Take some extra self care ground yourself in what it is you want to do if the magician manifests the queen of pentacles is living that manifestation what can you do in your life today like right now that makes you feel like you're getting oh that makes you feel like you're living the life that you want that's how you can dispel a lot of the fear and a lot of the ghost stories that you've been holding on to is looking at what's actually around you and seeing how far you've come and all that's changed there's no going back. Let's get some advice <coughs> from the universe. Just some final, final, final things here. Page of Wands. He always follows me. Okay, you'll never know this because, again, I won't upload the video. But the Page of Wands came out underneath last night when I tried to record the video and it failed. I shit you not. Of course, it's cards. It's a numbers game. You shuffle the cards, they'll lay out in some sort of fashion, and eventually the Page of Wands will come up. But how many times will it come up in the underneath position in a row? 
And on that note, I'll take the card underneath. Mm. Oh my god, there's so many cards here. What? Okay. <laughs> I kept pulling because, so what came out was the Page of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. Some kind of opportunity. And then I pulled from the bottom, Strength. Someone, this is about working through fears. This is about manifesting. Look at the lemniscate at the top. Having compassion for oneself. You know what compassion looks like? The Hanged Beast, Ace of Cups, Judgment, and the Eight of Pentacles. It's not enough to see the potential of an opportunity. We have to ground things in um, reality. Reality isn't always kind. We have to, you know, so be compassionate for yourself. And compassion for yourself looks like at this time, take a step back. Um, try to see things from a different perspective. That's this, this hanged beast. Fill your cup. Make sure you're operating from a place that feels like you are, you know, at your best. This is also love. I mean, this is sort of love resonant. Um, it's about the opportunity to express one's emotions here. So this is what I think what wants to come out is some the the, the ace of cup the, sorry, the ace of swords is already on the table the ace of pentacles just showed up or something about removing some some masks here um, judgment is self assessment it's it, and the ace of cups this is about assessing your true feelings about a situation but um, in order to do that you are asked to do the work of taking a step back not the time to push forward it's about doing the work of getting some kind of solid foundation to operate from you know that's what it is well I didn't expect this to be so long I thought it'd be like a 20 minute thing tops, but here we are. So, if you stuck with it, good for you. <laughs> I hope that you got something out of it. <clears throat> My voice is not wanting to keep up with me, so I'll leave it there. I don't know if I'll be able to upload anymore while I'm out here, but I will try. This is one big experiment, so we'll see how it goes. Take care. Thanks for watching.